everyone. Welcome to our very first podcast. We are Media Mafia. So to start off, I'm your girl ASAP Tay. I'm Na. Kenyon in the room. And you got NJ over here. Yes. <laughs> And um, we're here to talk about a couple things going on in today's society. So what's up, y'all? What's poppin'? What's good? Y'all ready to do some things? Yes. yes. What's, what's, good? Good? Know what's, know what's the team? Y'all know me. City girls. Yes. What's up with city girls? She's tripping. What'd she say? Cancel. She Cancel. Said, Period. The girl need to go back to school, obviously. <laughs> yes. Sis said she was gonna beat her son if he has any gay actions. Like. Y'all. What is she beating? What's him? wrong with being gay? Why is she beating him? <laughs> and like, can we stop making a little bit people who didn't graduate high school and stuff? Famous flew out. out. Which is about flew out. Since it's flown, yeah. like I just wanna say what's and, going on? And, and to all the radio stations, can we stop asking that little illiterate celebrities that we know ain't mentally gay? I think they think right. it's funny. They think it's about social They think issues. it's yeah. Like, it's, that's being illiterate is not cute. It ain't cute. You're like, how old is she? Like in her late twenties? She, she okay. Like, come on. Her but, songs is. But stuff, anyways, but. but back to the kid. There ain't nothing wrong with having a gay child. You yeah. should love your kid no matter what. I feel like it's 2018 right now. Right. Like, yes. Come on, like, come on. Sis. That's like saying too. like I can't a black child. Like that. Don't make right. Sense. But right. That's, that's also that's also like a growth thing. Like obviously her mental is not where. Do she think she can beat the gay out of him? Um, like. What is she? What? Are, why are you beating him? Right. Are <laughs> you gonna beat him until you're not gay no more? Right. So, 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 we, we need y'all to, y'all viewers, we need y'all to call y'all, um, y'all nearest Miami. Call station. y'all nearest Miami. You know what? Let them know that we need an educative uh, real quick. My, yeah. my question is, it's like, I wonder how many, you know, supporters she would have, like, if they knew, like, she wasn't, like, you know, well, I think if she was anti gay. Some now. Yeah, and then I feel like, why, why be. You know, why be so judgmental? And then it's like half of your supporters is probably like, damn But listen, head. but listen. Mm-hmm. She said, okay, I should, like, I don't have anything against gay people because my stylist is gay, my hairdresser uh, is gay. So well, what you, about you, your son? Are you, you, are, so is she just utilizing the services of the people and, and like the people, but you don't like their lifestyle? Mm-hmm. But you, you know what I'm saying? You so against like the gay so thing. Against. But you so quick to be like, oh, I need a hairstylist. Oh, let me call, let me mm-hmm. call Phil. Oh, oh, I need somebody to do this. Oh, let me call Tom. But you know, if somebody asks you a question pertaining on the gate, it's like, oh, well, I don't like this. So, like, I don't like are you a hypocrite way. or are you She's like, a hypocrite. That's the word. That's the word. What, what are you, sis? Word of the day. And it's like these people supporting you, and you know what I'm saying you. And this is how you feel about them. Mm-hmm. Hypocrite. Yeah. <laughs> hypocrite. <laughs> I like that word. Yes. And honestly, I, I, I've, been, I've been using that same logic and structure to everybody, like, mm-hmm. like hating on Asians or poppies and all that. Like, like you go to your corner store every day and get your chips. Yeah. Like you don't get your um, uh, your your, your blender from the chinks every day. Like yeah. you want to accept people who they are, no matter race, color, skin tone, gender, sex. Come on. Because yeah. like in the, the day. You using it for something, using yeah. the people for something else. Like, mm-hmm. you know, no, that's real talk. Respect. It is real. Yes, respect. Mm-hmm. Y'all still feeling the City Girls? Y'all like their music? I, mean, I I really like the City Girls music, but I guess her as a person, she's definitely after that. Though. Yeah. Period. Yeah. 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 That's the word though. Period. Yeah. 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 I mean, I know I, they get no strings out of me. Everything deleted. Mm-hmm. But I'm here in a club. But I'm, you know, turn mm-hmm. up. Yeah. <laughs> they songs are definitely yes. dancing music. They songs are definitely dancing music. Yes, it is. But, you know, with that, I don't know. I don't know if I respect her, though. You know. Yeah, we'll see. I don't know. But they coming out with a new album. Free JT, though. Free JT, yeah, what's this coming out? Like, Apparently, we'll four days, right? Like that. 40, no, that's their that's album. The album's coming out in four days. I don't think it comes out until, like, December. I don't know. We'll Whoa, see. Oh, my I don't know. It's been in the cell for a minute. Yeah. <laughs> but speaking of people burning up and oh. burning their careers down by yeah. these commentaries, mm-hmm. you know California's on fire. California's, California's on, fire. on fire. Literally. At, this, at the same it's time, lit. me and Tay trying to plan a trip, so we hoping that the tickets the might tickets go. The tickets might go down. Yeah, yeah, the tickets are the same. We feel for the people. I'm just going to throw it out yeah, there. The, we feel for the people. Maybe the flight costs will go down. I'm just confused of why it's on fire, though. It's the wildfire. They have I think they have one every year. Basically, um, is it that hot there, or is it yeah, it's hot? It's the, the air is dry though. And then yeah. if the, the trees fall down and rub against each other, and then like it's fire. literally like fire can create like yeah. that because it's that hot, it's that dry heat. Mm-hmm. And um, it's a couple of different situations. I don't want to get too deep on y'all too quick. Yeah. But some people are saying it's because like they don't know how to cultivate the land. You mm-hmm. know, when the Indians was there, they knew how to control the wildfires using their methods. Yeah. Right. And now people don't know how to do it, and they don't want to listen. You know, right. they move the Indians out. So there was rumors saying like 
they, it's kind of what they deserve. Like, I'm not sure how I feel about those comments. Well, people don't, don't deserve it if their house is burned down. Right. Like, I'm going to die to ruin. That's, yeah, that's that is extreme. extreme. That's anything. I feel bad, though. I feel as though, like, if the Indians know how to, like, you know, control these wildfires yeah. and use the advantage, why ain't nobody speak up yet? Right, why right. they didn't reach out? Right. I'm a little nervous. Because they got their land taken away from they them. Did. They're not helping anybody. <clears throat> right. So, so they just watching people just burn. Burn. They said my house not going to burn. But what do y'all, how do y'all feel about Kim Kardashian? Her, they like hired private firefighters to save their home and other people's. I ain't know private firefighters was a real thing. Niggas is making money. Yes, yeah, money. Private firefighters. Um, if your money set up a certain way. Yeah, why not? People, people, are, people are, yo. Yeah. Private firefighters. Private firefighters. Where can I sign up? Okay. When did she even get a, an award for it? Like, what? Kim Kardashian? Was she, was she got like a Nancy award? What was no, wait, what she that got? wasn't at the at the award she, show, right? It was an right? award show that just passed. Yeah, an award, the whole but they, thing oh, they got an award. Yeah. Like, I, I they, hope it was influences. Well, I thought they were just making an announcement saying, like, about the California fires. No, oh, I'm not sure. Oh, she got an award, mm. like... Oh, speaking of the awards, so, um, like, Nicki Minaj performed. How do you feel about her performance? Is her, like, performance level just going down? Like, because she just doesn't perform anymore. She usually lay down on the floor. She's getting a little washed she's, up. She's getting she washed up. Say. She is, so... Nancy, I know you a big Nicki fan. How you feel about it? <laughs> Come on, guys. <laughs> Come on, Jay. To be honest, I watched the thing and I did. I did. It was like some energy. Okay. However, you gotta. I, I just want to say, you gotta give us a Nicki. She literally performed every other week. Right. She does. She performed last week on a different award show. Okay. And got two awards. They, so, people do it all the time. So it's like you know, everybody can't be. Everybody can't be their best all the time. Can I just say? She gave us, she gave, she's giving us a catalog because it's been 10 years. <laughs> that little... She can have one too bad before. Why so low? Yeah, go ahead now. We listen she to can, it. She gave one of some bad performances. All, that's all I'm going to say. Get a queen <laughs> break. Oh, she's had a long enough break. She she's been sitting... A, what's, what's next? I'm waiting for something. She's not doing anything exciting. She's been dropping verses. Every, she got the album and still gave you two own verses in a, within just, the last two weeks. Yeah. I just feel like she's not making that much noise though. She, mm. Oh, you can't yeah. say that. Oh. She not, how should I make that enough noise? But she won um Hot 100 with each with each feature. She just won. She, is, she just won. She just won 100. Yeah, she did. I saw that. The you only know. female artist. Yeah, she yes, in yes. history. Yes, in just, history. She beat your baby Beyonce. Oh. She don't, Beyonce, I love you. That's, oh. that's mostly everybody. That's playing. mostly, yeah. Beyonce. She's she up there with, uh, what is it, Michael, Michael Jackson? Yeah, but Nikki right. up there. Nikki up there. She's the only female, like, I know that she have, she, have, she have her moments, her bad moments. But you gotta give it to her. Like, she really been doing it. She been for a while, yeah. And you can't while. say she ain't popping if it was making top 100 every time. Every time. So she making some kind of noise. People just wanna hate. People just. I'm not yet. You hear that? People just want to hate. People just, just want to hate. Okay. Thank you. I mean, it's easy yes. to hate on somebody that's popping. Out. <laughs> right. You know Look. Saying? It's easy to hate on If you're going to hate it, you're popping, right? I'm not a hater. I'm just saying. I'm just either. So is people. she, what, like, was she labeled the most female rapper of, like, that's been awarded? Like, she was, uh, I think the words that she was rated like the best artist of um, this decade. Mm -hmm. But she is. She literally, she literally has came out with so many free, um, features. Mm -hmm. It makes no sense. Like your favorite rapper can't even put out a feature every every once a year. You know, she give you a feature almost every week, internationally right. and nationally. I don't know how um them, them New Yorkers feel. You know, once they hear like Nicki Minaj and you know the uh, queen of this mm -hmm. and the queen of that, they don't like to give her that recognition because they feel like you know. With um, Lil Kim. Yeah, they Lil feel Kim. like she's. Let's talk about that. And I feel like she spoke on it with the award show. I feel like that. Who wait, Nicki did? Yeah. Okay. She kind of mentioned. That she, I think this whole Queen era wasn't about her calling herself the Queen, which she probably, which she is. I'ma say, she is. in my opinion. Okay. But it was more so like she said for her to say that women go through all these um, ups and downs and yet they still get up and try again. So it wasn't about her being a queen and her being the best. It was about her undergoing all these changes. Fighting for streaming rights for all artists mm -hmm. that they get money from now because of Nikki. Yeah. And I want one one example. And other examples where like she really has went through so much to make sure her, her name is like around. Like working with artists and you gotta you gotta think about it. Being a female in this industry, a male dominated mm -hmm. industry, she probably went through a lot that we don't even know about. Well, yeah, that's true. So it's like I think she was excited to get to where she got to now, mm -hmm. to come back after four years and have her fan base still be excited. Mm -hmm. Every artist can't do that. Take a break for four years and not release nothing yeah. but features. Right. Obviously, I'm strongly about this topic. <laughs> I mean, it's a deep little thing. I, mean, I, 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 I think you work hard. 
I mean, she worked so hard. And she does, you can't like deny that. It, it, it was a wet performance, though. I'm gonna give you that. Yeah. Okay. In this in this in this caption she put on Instagram, she said, Attention, I love God. According to the Universal Records, this year alone my album catalog sold over three hundred twenty five K worldwide. The pink print is now at four million <coughs> worldwide. Since January, I've received eleven billboard entries. And yesterday with the ASCAP award, I became the most awarded female rapper in history. That's okay. in history is being made. So, so I mean and she said, the top of all this year, I received the title for the most 100 entries by, you know, woman in the history of music. Mm -hmm. title for, <laughs> a title previously you know. held by Aretha Franklin, you know, for 40 years. Mm -hmm. They don't want you to post your achievements and accomplishments as make them, you know, uncomfortable. But, but you must, because every day people broadcast your failures. They shout them to the mountaintops. So never ever stop posting your accomplishments. I love my fans so much. Thank you, NBA Awards Monday. Can't wait for, to see you guys. In my so what noise are you making? So what noise? I feel like that's kind of lit, though. You know. Yeah, it is. That is a good like thing. Like talk about, about it. About. I'm just lit, not though. a Nicki fan. I feel like. Who you, you know, Tana? I like Cardi. Oh, so you a Cardi? Okay. I feel like personality traits, you know, really play a role. Like, just like the City Girl, Miami, Young Miami things they say really, like, make a difference if you want to listen to them or not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. She, 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 she might have said some things that she wasn't feeling. Yes. I mean, I, I know what Nikki, she do, she do do a lot of, like, you know, shady things. But if you're a Nikki fan, you know how. You I'm know, not a you know, I'm not a bar. You know, let's talk about, uh, I think, uh, what's her name? Uh, Jada Pickett. She, one of her rare table talks. Mm-hmm. I, I love, think what you're doing is like just great. I, I was just about amazing. to say, I love J.D. Pitt. I love Will Smith. That's one of my role models. But like, yeah, go into what she was saying. I, she, had a, she had a table talk today with like some people, Um, I believe, I, I forgot the, um, the old lady name. But just talking about like race and like basically um, how like white women and black women are like, she really want people to like join together. Mm -hmm. And uh, the white woman made like a big a big uh, statement saying like this whole concept of race is really like made up. And people, people for some reason just so uneducated. And the education system is like really just not. It's really not though. It's really not it. Right. And like she basically said, like everybody's black, and like you know, depending on how far away from the equator you are, skin color fade because you're not in the sun. Mm -hmm. And then we all need to get out of the whole mindset of being black and white and really just be one human race, like we mm -hmm. are hard to begin with. Mm -hmm. When I first seen it, I was a little thrown off by it because I'm like, what she mean? Like everybody was like black, like mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Because it's like how? You know. You know the first people originated from Africa? That's mm -hmm. true. That's true. And it's literally been like videos and stories tell like it's this is one video I like the um I, I watched in like I think high school and it was a person that came from me, they went from the center of Africa and they went all the way up to European Europe, Europe and they videotaped people as they walked through eight cities. Mm -hmm. And literally you can see the skin tell the skin color mm -hmm. fading from black all the way to white. Mm. Because the wow. fur the further you get from the equator, the less sun you're exposed to, the less melanin is in your skin. And as you get further away from that, the skin color the less you need it. Cause you, again, like skin is harmful to the like, the sun is harmful to the skin, mm -hmm. and in order to fight that, your body creates things that orders for you to survive. And if you don't need it, it also produces it. So if you get further away from the the sun source, you know I'll be up here like right now. It was it was four o'clock and it's dark. I need that. I need less melanin because I'm not in that region. Mm -hmm. So now, and that's how people over time skin color faded, and people don't know that. For, for some reason, it's just not taught. Mm -hmm. I didn't know melanin was even a thing until it became a, a trend. A trend. So yes, people don't know like that. And it's, and it's more about it. I don't know all about it. So I don't want mm -hmm. y'all to hear me if I got all the facts right. Mm -hmm. But that's, that's the overall gist and the concept. No, that's it. real talk. That's so, true. Like, that's real talk. And then I just, like, even when I seen, uh, <coughs> I was seeing on the news about this, a uh, young kid got lynched. Which was very sad. unfortunate. Like, how yeah. in 2018 we still, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, come on. And then I heard the girlfriend was white. They were trying Wait, to really? kill himself. But yeah. how? Why? He's covering up. Someone hung him. Period. That gets you to the reporters too. We gotta stop having headlines that's misleading about our black people. Yeah, it was missing Oklahoma. It'd be like allegedly lynched. Yeah, uh, allegedly, allegedly he hung himself. Right. With what? a rope. Right. Wait, did y'all hear about how they was uh making inmates? I mean, making people that they arrested wear Nike shirts. Because um, you know how Nike was the whole um, Colin Kaepernick thing. So this, um, this, I think it was a country in Georgia, a county in Georgia. When they arrest people, they make them wear Nike shirts as mug shots. Wait, what? Yes, yes. No, I, didn't I, didn't see that. I didn't know that. I could Petty. like see. <laughs> like, there's a lot going on out here. That like again, people are like the press ain't like the press ain't doing this job for this though. 
I was people that are doing this job is really getting a lot of heat for it, like a lot of heat for it, and then like for them for being forgotten about. It. And then the people that's like not doing the job, it's just like they just making false headlines just for just for clickbait, just for likes. Yeah, because like when you talk about like stuff like you know, black boys and stuff being lynched, is like it's not like appealing to nobody. It's it's boring. You know what I'm saying? Because right here it's saying two black men lynched, murdered. You know, of the hands of a white family in Oklahoma. Like that's crazy. Like we don't you. When have we even heard anything about that? We haven't. But it's to make me, national headlines. And, and, and to I don't me, know why it doesn't. And to be honest, I think like I think it's crazy that you think it's crazy because me personally, I'm surprised. And I and I don't say that in like a, a rude way or like, like, like I'm just not surprised because even last year, I'm not sure if you guys all knew, but the whole Liberian like people in Liberia was being traded as slaves for hundred dollars. I did see that. Like, yeah, I was shook like that. I'm not sure about you were surprised then, but last year I was surprised on that note. I couldn't believe. People was getting traded as slaves. Like, yeah. I was shook. Like, whoa. Yeah. And it's probably still happening to this day. Mm -hmm. So it was like, now I'm just like not as surprised. I feel as though like everything's more a like cover up now. It's more like, a, oh, that's not really happening, or that's not the real story. Mm -hmm. And it's just like, I ain't putting nothing past nobody now. Watch your backs. Watch your backs. The black woman getting inducted to DC. Yes, that's been an ongoing thing. An ongoing that's thing. That's unfortunate. Um, in DC, yes, yes, yes. yes. It's, not, it's not even like it's like young girls. Yes, so. black people. Period. Mm -hmm. it's and like, is, it, is it with the black market and stuff, organs, all that? Like I just, I just those, those, the black community. I can admit we in the uprise right now. Right, <laughs> right. We really get, yes. we get socially woke. Economically woke, mm -hmm. we get funds to, to fund our own to fund mm -hmm. our own stuff now, and I feel that that's really scaring yeah. these racist people. Yes, and not saying it's just white people because other people can be racist. Yeah. It's really scaring racists it's, in general, and mm -hmm. they just like all over the country is scared to death. They don't know what to do. Right. We coming up. Yeah, for real. Like we even the ready. voter suppression in um Georgia, right? Yes, now. yes. Let's talk about let's it. Let's talk about. Yes, vote. let's let's talk about that. Voter suppression is the old new normal. If you haven't heard, it's a strategy to influence the outcome of an election by discouraging or preventing specific groups of people from voting. Recently, a judge blocked Georgia election officials from rejecting ballots or voter applications because signatures didn't match IDs unless the people appealed. Hey, I, 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 appeal. I thought about that. Yes. It's like they just coming up with anything they want mm -hmm. just so we don't vote. So just we don't vote. Mm -hmm. Did y'all see that picture of that white man that had the picture of the noose no. on his shirt? No, I well, he, didn't. Yes. And he was, um, I think, a nurse at a hospital and he walking around with voting with a noose See? picture. We're, we're and around our, these people uh, yes, all day. Yes. We just don't know. Mm -hmm. Just because they don't have like a KKK hat on or Yeah, something but they're like, around us in our hospitals. Yeah. There are Probably, teachers, yes, our professors. teachers, all that. They are they are around. They might not you might not see it, but they're around. And it's wow. sad. But you know, we we just all gotta vote. Our vote does matter. I don't know why people say it doesn't I hate matter. That. I hate that. Don't be I, Don't be one of them. Yes. Be it's alright, cause when my when my girl Maxine Waters hit the you know what I'm saying, when she hit the White House, it's it's a wrap. It's like, a wrap. She it footed like she footed the orderly, right? Yes. 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 I love her, yeah. Yes. I love her. She she said, what they say she woke. Yes. yes. She's woke. <laughs> Stay woke everybody. Period. <laughs> <laughs> Idiot, like you know what I'm saying. She just, she just that like lady where it's like she don't take nothing, like she don't care about what they saying and stuff like that. Like she knows was like right, and she like she knows the truth about you know the White House and stuff, stuff like that. Speaking about the truth, let's talk about like black people in, in institutions right now in general. I really feel as though we not represented. Like I was doing, like you know, I'm about to graduate. I was doing some job hunting. And like, ain't no, like in some of these industries that we want to get into, mm -hmm. ain't no black people. Mm -hmm. I know. Like, because, I don't know, maybe it's because of like, you know, or is there not enough of us striving? Or is it because how we're looked upon, you know what I'm saying? Like, what, what, why is it not enough, like, you know, African American? I think that it's both. Yeah. I think that people who grew up say for instance you grew up in like a city mm -hmm. and you grew up in this some sort of neighborhood that you feel like the people around you you're just this is all you know you don't know any better you don't know how to uplift yourself out of this situation you're not taught this mm -hmm. so then it's like people think we're ignorant so right. they don't take it seriously 
No, that's real tough, though. I feel like they don't give the African-Americans a lot of opportunities. Even when you're in school, period, mm -hmm. like, they they support you to a certain extent. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Because it's, it's set up where it's like your parents literally have to make no income for you to be supported mm -hmm. in by financial aid well enough to, you know, succeed. Because your parents can work and they'll only give you enough. But, like, even with your parents working, it wouldn't be, you know, substantially yeah. and financially enough say you know pay for you got uh your schooling period and then you got you know on on or off campus living mm -hmm. plus like books and other expenses so it's like you know they it's like you kind of like setting these people up to fail it's like you are you selling these people fake hopes and dreams like mm -hmm. saying oh go to go to college go to school do this do that yeah. but you're not giving them the proper you know help yeah proper help so do you do believe in things. everybody has the same 24 hours because i don't yeah, I don't either because mm -hmm. even you even, don't have the same twenty four hours. Yeah, mm -hmm. like even in growing up in certain areas in in poverty, you will say like you're lucky to like have like somebody that's going to support you. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? You're lucky that's to have somebody that's going to be in your ear telling you this, telling you that, because they that's what they want to see is us just being you know them stereotypes. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So like when we do get the opportunity to actually succeed, you know what I'm saying? That's where they. That's where. That's what they fear. You know what I'm saying. So, it's it's hard. I I really I really feel for you know a lot of people because sometimes they really don't have an opportunity. Mm -hmm. They really don't have like you know a choice. <clears throat> and it's like, what do you do in that type of situation? You know what I'm saying. And then what with school, you gotta keep taking out loans and stuff, mm -hmm. and you can't afford. It's hard. And so a lot it's of these very kids expensive. are supporting themselves. So how are you yes. can't get co-signers? on these loans by yourself right mm -hmm. and these colleges raising the price ain't it like every year or something yeah. semester like, they always raising the price like when i came to iep it was twenty two thousand. yes it was and that was close to thirty thousand. and that's been four years that's mm -hmm. ridiculous i want to know what they raising it for are you like, they not giving what? us anything they, else no. they give us any more, anything and then extra. just just to graduate and not like find a, like the job you want like that's crazy yeah. is it, is it a friend of mine six to seven months of hunting at, at the college was broke yeah, School is it's, it's college is like a business. Yeah, you got You really got to build you your just, own. Bachelor's you just, degrees turn into new high school. To yes, college. you got to go and get your master's and stuff out here now. I'm thinking about getting mine. I don't yes, know. I don't know. No. Right when you think you're done with school, you got to go get your master's. It wasn't a part of the plan. It was not. I have to. <laughs> <laughs> but we all going to make a way. We all going to get successful. Yep. We going we gonna to make it to the top. I gotta keep working. Believe that. Believe that. We believe are, that. Yes. That's believe. Say that again, Nasir. Believe that. Period. <laughs> <laughs> now he wants to start saying it. You it's like you can see in my head. Period. 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 It's in it's my head. Like I keep, I keep hearing. You it. gotta go like this one. <clears throat> <laughs> so how do you guys feel about child support? I don't know if you guys heard about um, Black China and Rob Kardashian that she usually asks twenty thousand dollars a month mm. for Dream, and now Rob is saying that he wants the child support lowered because he really can't afford that. Somebody, somebody like like Rob ain't even on the show. Why she? Why she trying to get but, it like that? But do you feel as though like twenty thousand dollars a month for child support she is that a lot? Like does a child really need twenty I mean, hell of a lot. But it's but like when they're making like checks like every episode, they get like a million, like well, a couple notes per thing. episode. Black China, okay, so you get, Black China has her own income. So okay. she has her own income. There's no way she, she should be getting paid $20,000 if... That, that is her income. No, she has her own... I'm saying like her income is finessing. Her income is finessing. She has <laughs> her, her own income. way of finessing and gave her income. Right. I, you know, so I respect the hustle. But so. I, I had a question that was like, what really determines child support nowadays? That's a good question. Like, I mean, child support, how many kids you got? Because I thought... It, <laughs> <laughs> how many kids you got? It means how much you make. Right. How much you make. Right. And... Because cause I thought it was in order to provide for the child, it would make sure the child is going up right and if the woman isn't 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 in the best spot to help her out as well so the baby the child can be in a good environment as well exactly that's what i'm thinking i'm like now when they tell the board it's turned into this whole like depending on how much you got it's how much i'm gonna get mm -hmm. and i'm not sure if i support that because it's like what if you got two successful people of course i'm a I'm, someone should take care of your child regardless and i guess men don't mm -hmm. but should i just like should the money go straight to the child? Should it go to the parent? Like, I feel like it's so much to your student nowadays. For years, child support been used wrong anyway. It's been very so it's wrong. Been finesse. I, feel like, yeah, I feel like the intent was good because, you know, most men, they don't honestly Because it forces them <coughs> they go to jail if they don't pay it. So it's like... Right. But I think, like, moms do add something that's petty. Right. Yeah, they do. 
They you wanna make them pay. I want him to pay all this money. Mm -hmm. He's not gonna have it. Like what? A lot of the a lot of the times they take the child away from the parent uh -huh. just to do the child support. Yep. Yeah. That's what a lot of these moms do. It's like a finesse thing, it you know what I'm saying? Finesse. It's I don't I mean it's been finesse for years. No petty baby moms twenty nineteen. Did, 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 did Jackson she got the, she got a baby a straight left after like a year or so? Oh really? Yeah, she was married to that Saudi Arabian guy and then after oh, yeah. like a year or something she had a baby and like she did. But <laughs> why what <laughs> the money? Why was um <laughs> secure the bag. Secure the bag, <laughs> yeah. I, I wanna get the like the the um like to see on why was Black China mom letting them balloons. Did y'all see that? Wait, it was somewhere her mom in front of Party City? Yes. Wait. She was like, Happy birthday, Adrian, happy birthday and let the balloons I hope the balloons get to you. Petty. Petty Petty. Petty. But do y'all think Black China's mom's toxic? Yes. Like, is yes. she is like, she on something? I don't know. She <laughs> might be. China, China, China might be on something too, though. Yeah. She has what 18, 19 year old boyfriend. Come on now. Yeah, that's now, still together. Now she's talking about she wanna, we, she we she wanna see that. So she's trying to be single now. She's done with these dudes. He was nineteen. Like, he was nineteen. I think it's screaming mental illness. It is screaming. It's screaming <laughs> Which way? What do you mean to Black China and the Black China in general is screaming like just mental illness. Yeah. The mom mental illness. Like, a lot of stuff is screaming mental illness. The joy. It is. Yeah, we just like yes. we just like riding over there. Like, stuff can't ride no more. Just like wake up. Wait, like, uh, come on, something's wrong. She's a 19 year old, something's wrong. Just like, okay, yeah. so Black China talking to a 19 year old is okay, but like, think of it as vice versa. People without a fit, they don't like that. Um, Black China mom seemed like they had like that. First of all, for one, it didn't seem like they had the best relationship. But then two, it seemed like they had like that sister bond instead of like mother daughter bond. You know what I'm saying? I think it's dirty. And then it's like you know black, <laughs> and it's like black China. She she always say like how she raised herself. So you know what I'm saying? She just sir, she sir, just one of those type people. She don't care. All right, saying. so y'all, the holidays are approaching. It's Thanksgiving. What's your favorite Thanksgiving meal? Your favorite dish? Mac and cheese. Mac and cheese. Nothing over my mom. Mac and cheese. And oh, know. here he go. Tell, tell Saudi that. <laughs> tell Saudi. I don't like him. Don't you don't tripping. like him? I'm tripping. Y'all need to cancel the rest of the video. Yes. Turn it off. I'm plugging. I'm plugging. Turn off, please. I don't. Taylor said she don't eat turkey though. No, the turkey's like, dry. Like to, well, turkey's dry. You gotta get. No, no, no. I eat it depends. It depends. You gotta find some good ass turkey. It's turkey. Good. I'm gonna go buy me some salty sauce to put on my turkey. Put some gravy on it. What's your price? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. No salty. She got some type of gravy. I'm gonna put that on my. I'm gonna put that on my turkey. Yeah. I'm thinking mom wanna appreciate. She said that's all you need. Your mom not gonna appreciate you trying to put somebody else. Right. She's like, what is this? What is this? What is this? I'm like, yes. I'm like, why would you girls? I'm like, you know who she is. Like, you know who she is. Well, yeah, I'm I'm ready for the holidays. I just hope it, I feel it more this year. Yes, y'all going Black Friday shopping? Oh no, I heard Cyber Monday is always better. Yeah, yeah I like true. in person shopping. You like in person? Yeah. You like to go and try everything on. You see know what? I, I mean, that is. Yeah. I'm, I'm an online person. Online. The world. Yeah. Being up here has made me online. Yeah, yeah. that's a fact. That's Being a fact. Because, because it's I like we literally shopping, have nowhere you know? to go. There's nothing up here. Up here, you gotta you have to go to Pittsburgh. Where to go? Or something, but yeah, definitely being up at school made me a online shopper for sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I do agree with the mall and trying it on. You want to make sure it's good on you before you really buy it. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I definitely understand that. But Black Friday, I've never been Black Friday shopping. I just see people go yeah, all crazy. Good. I've been a couple times. Yeah. You have, what's it's, your experience? It's like fun because you go in the middle of the night. Mm -hmm. So I, I don't know, I like that. But you it is like crazy. That? People be. I used to work on Black Friday a lot too. Oh, really? I used to work at first 21. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. I never like experienced that. It's a lot it's of crazy. people. It's so many people in the mall. People be getting pickpock pickpocketing and stuff. Is it? I. I'm not ready for it. Mm -hmm. I don't really care for it. I, I want some AirPods though. I do. <clears throat> yes. What's on your Christmas list? I want an Apple Watch. I'm so one more person. I, I do too. Christmas. Christmas. Mm -hmm. I wish well, I could afford a Christmas list. I need I have my Mac broke down. Mac. Someone here that give my man a Mac. <laughs> but to make it a GoFundMe. Yes, GoFundMe. I'll talk you to GoFundMe. MacBook yes. for his graduation gift, y'all. Let's make it happen. <coughs> yes, let's make it happen. We should. I need a new iPhone. Speaking about GoFundMe, you said that, that girl felt like she was Republican and then yes. got like 1500 Yes, oh, I, I, I saw that. that. I seen that. Y'all think she would have the money or not? Howard produces scammers. Yes, Howard, they have a scamming class. <laughs> they do. They, they have to get away with scamming. scamming. Yes. 
Yeah. Yeah. My man Tyrone, I hope he all right. <laughs> <laughs> I see he finessed that. Scamming one of them. Yeah, he did. He did finesse that. He was half a mil, right? He worked, he worked in the financial aid offense and finesse that. But I think no, other people no. were helping him too. No, I mean, like, I think he went to court and like for a good case and like he's not even in charge now. Like, oh. Like, I think he finessed that whole situation. Like he got out of it somewhere. Tyrone was dripped down. Yes, he was. He, he, Tyrone was he dripped down. He had the make He had Vacations. Pictures. Like traveling. My type of friend. Like, that's my type of friend. Maybe it's yeah. just maybe that the the name Tyrone just hold you know so much. It's, it's got to wait. See, I don't you know, know what I'm saying. Just, no, I gotta hold that. Yeah, you know I'm saying you, you, it, it's a, you have to be a certain type of person to have that name. So you, you know. trying to be Tyrone scam? I mean, yeah, I don't know if I can scammer. scam the way he did, but you know, dressing wise, I might come for him a little bit. You didn't come for him dressing wise fast, but he got you with the scamming, but the scamming stuff. He need yeah. to teach you his way so we can get started. Yes, he yeah, I'm going to have to call him up like, listen, bro. <laughs> if you're watching this, we, we, we family at this point. You know what I'm saying? We family right we now. definitely family. Connect you know what I'm saying? Like, it's cool, though. You that's... know what I'm I respect them. So, so how do you feel about HBCU versus um, WBIs? W, I, said yeah, I need to experience the HBCU. I feel like I don't uh, like part it. of me, like, I'm down with PWI. But I kind of want to go to like an HBCU for my master's or something. How do you feel about people who go to HBCUs and they do a lot of slander on the black kids who chose BWI? No, like, I don't, don't like like slander it. us. I don't like that because Howard said about accept this letter in July. This ain't okay. even about so it, it ain't even about choosing. It's about what you can afford. Exactly. Okay. Hey, don't HBCUs like in the 40000 Y'all better like exactly. you pay 40000 for them to live next yes. to their roommates. Yes. Okay. And I saw HBCU like they were so overbooked like not everyone had a room. They don't Oh. Our PWI never done that. And I slept in the <laughs> house. Oh, so I don't know about y'all. Like, they're not even ready to build in yet. Like, what's up? Right. Like, we gotta they allow. so quick to come to after us I when we're chilling. I can't throw too much shit on the HBCU because. I, he's where he go to an HBCU. Yes, I do. Because I mean, you've been to the tailgate. And the tailgate's on the tailgate. Even in school, it's show. Even in school, it holds like that. That's the stuff that they do. Like, they have a lot of people who go to HBCU. Even in school, it's show. 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 Even in Class, we'll, we'll know yet. Yeah, what, you, what you mean? Y'all, I did go. Try to call the financial aid office. I heard you can't get through. <laughs> oh, right. You need financial aid. What? No, no seriously. Yeah. Burger State sent my assistance letter June sign. Howard sent my assistance letter July sign. And it was like, bro, the situation was May 1st. Yeah. How you sending me? How you sending me that letter in July? Right. That's right. It's going August. Yeah. People that go to HBCUs think that we don't, like, you know, value our people. Mm. Because we don't go to HBCU. We still value our people. You ever see those debates on Twitter? What debate? Like, it would be like PWI versus HBCU. Oh, yeah, I see that. They make me so mad. I don't know why they think that. We're just and trying I, to get an education. It's all about, I feel like they go back to the game with just humans and they're always trying to separate and make something yes. superior. And it's just like, it don't even need, it ain't even necessary. It's we not, on here. I feel all, like black people yes. used we, to like always just we all went to, we're each all at college. Yeah, we're all in school. What, what's the difference? Right. If anything, you, you, you should try to have a little meet up. Let, let me know what's up. What's up? What's up? Right. Like, what's bring up? some food over. I'm hungry. Okay. I feel like, I feel like school wise, you know, HBCUs are a better choice, but like financially wise, I mean, PWIs are expensive too. They are expensive, expensive but it's cheaper. Too. I mean IUP is, but if you look at like CMU and like um, Pittsburgh, Temple, that's like sixty thousand. Like Penn State, yeah, Temple, Penn State. those schools are. Penn State was fifty five thousand, I believe. Well, no, sure. college is expensive regardless. Re so. Regardless. So regardless, y'all can talk all y'all want. College is expensive. Regardless. Still black regardless. though. Still black. Still proud. Yeah. My PWI. We chilling. We still with our people. Yeah, we still with our people. <laughs> at the end of the day, yes, we still with our regardless. people. Just trying to get this education. Yes. yes, yes. <clears throat> Just trying to get this education. Yes. So yes, so. But. Well, y'all. I think we're about to wrap it up, y'all. That was Media Mafia. Yes. Media Mafia. You know, Ooh. let us know what we should talk about on our next episode. We want to hear what you want to say. Mm -hmm. So we talk about what we want to say. Okay. <laughs> yeah. right. Next, next, next session, we're about to get a little bit more shady. You know, we're being nice this time. Yes. <laughs> Give us some things. But yes. <laughs> Today, this was a, I think we did good for our first time. time. Yes. But... I don't, we, we took the round, but we want to definitely hit we, the, yeah. the funny topics, the hot topics, yes. the deep topics. The you deep feel topics. Me? Yeah, we definitely want to have to do some more next time, man. Some more stuff. Yeah, definitely. And let us know what y'all want us to talk about, man. Like, let us know. Let us know. Yes, I'm we love to talk. I'm, I'm excited. Yes. Excited. For the media in this. Media <laughs> mafia. Oh. Yes. All right, y'all.
Castillo.